Hello students, welcome to Read Med Prep Academy channel. Today in evolution part 1, we are going to talk about the origin of life and evolution of life forms and the geological time scale. The term evolution is used to describe heritable changes in one or more characteristics of a population of species from one generation to the other. The present state of mankind on earth is the outcome of three kinds of evolution, chemical, organic and social or cultural evolution. Age of the earth, radiometric dating of meteorites yields an estimated age for the solar system and for earth as around 4.5 to 4.6 billion years. The newborn earth remained inhospitable for at least few hundred million years. Formation of crust and oceans, at first it was too hot. This is because the collisions of the planetesimals that coalesced to form earth released much heat to melt the entire planet. Eventually, the outer surface of the earth cooled and solidified to form a crust. Water vapor released from the planet's interior cooled and condensed to form the oceans. Here in this image, you can see the inner core above which is the outer core of the earth. Above that is the lower mantle the upper mantle and above the upper mantle is the crust. Above the crust are the various layers of the atmosphere, the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and the exosphere. Here you can see on the right side image the entire world you can see the inner core which is made up of iron and nickel solid. Outer to that is the outer core which is about 5100 kilometers and it is a liquid made up of iron and nickel. Above that is the lower mantle and above that is the upper mantle. And surrounding the upper mantle is the crust which is made up of solid silicate minerals. A section of the earth is taken and you can see on the left side the lower mantle. Above that is the upper mantle. Above that is the lithosphere which is the crust and the uppermost mantle which are made into tectonic plates. Asthenosphere is a weak part and allows plates to move. Above the lithosphere is the continental crust which is the lower density and felsic. Ocean crust is the high density and is mafic. The origin of life and evolution of life forms. Origin of life can be reconstructed using indirect evidences. Consequently, biologists have turned to gather disparate bits of information and filling them together like pieces of jigsaw puzzle. Some of the theories of origin of life and evolution of life forms, theory of special creation, theory of abiogenesis, big bang theory, theory of biogenesis and theory of chemical evolution. Theory of special creation states that life was created by a supernatural power, respectfully referred to as God. According to Hinduism, Lord Brahma created the earth. Christianity, Islam and most religions believe that God created the universe, the plants and the animals. The theory of abiogenesis. According to the theory of spontaneous generation or abiogenesis, living organisms originated from the non-living materials and occurred through stepwise chemical and molecular evolution over millions of years. Thomas Huxley coined the term abiogenesis. Abiogenesis theory attempts to explain the origin of life. Scientists suggest that many years ago, gases in the atmosphere had the ability to react upon being struck by lightning or other sources of energy. Gases would assemble into organic compounds which would further assemble into more increasingly complex molecules such as proteins. These proteins ultimately developed into living cells. Here you can see the chemistry and biology of life forms. The chemistry, the earth's prebiotic evolution by cycling diurnal gradients about 4.5 billion years ago. Interacting chemistries of atmosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere. The universal ancestors were formed like the progenotes about 3.5 billion years ago. The biology, the progenotes crossing the Darwinian threshold. Earth's chemical and Darwinian evolution occurred and evolution of microspaces and molecular crowding which caused molecular recognition and cellular organization. Protogene evolution by cycling temperatures which caused enclosed and crowded proto-PCR of nucleic acids and proteins. Co-evolution of metabolic and information processing results in the production of membranes 
homeostasis and cell heredity. These events led to the formation of archaea about 2 billion years ago and bacteria. Macroevolution which occurred and resulted in membrane disruption fusions formed single cell eukarya later on multicellular eukarya. So increasing chemical complexity resulted in emergence of cellular life. Now Big Bang Theory. Big Bang Theory explains the origin of universe as a singular huge explosion in physical terms. The primitive earth had no proper atmosphere but consisted of ammonia, methane, hydrogen and water vapor. The climate of the earth was extremely high. UV rays from the sun split up water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Gradually the temperature cooled and the water vapor condensed to form rain. Rain water filled all the depressions to form the water bodies. Ammonia and methane in the atmosphere combined with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and other gases. Here you can see the Big Bang theory, the evolution of the universe. The Big Bang resulted in the dark ages between 380,000 years to 300 million years. Between 300 million years to 1 billion years, the first stars appeared. Later between the 1 billion years, slowly till today, the formation of the solar system occurred which took about 9 billion years. And modern galaxies have been formed and the time will say what will happen in the future. The Big Bang Theory, here you can see that in the time of 10 to the power of minus 43 second and at a temperature high, the cosmos goes through a super fast inflation, expanding from the size of an atom to that of a grapefruit in a tiny fraction of a second. Second event, in 10 to the power of minus 32 second and at a temperature of 10 to the power of 27 degrees centigrade, post inflation of the universe occurred in a seething hot soup of electrons quarks and other particles. In about 10 to the power of minus 6 second and at a temperature of 10 to the power of 13 degrees centigrade, the third event occurred, which is a rapidly cooling cosmos permits quarks to clump into protons and neutrons. In about 3 minutes and 10 to the power of 8 degrees centigrade, the fourth event occurred. The still too hot to form, which prevent light from shining the universe. The universe is a super hot fog. 3 million years ago, at a temperature of 10,000 degrees centigrade, the fifth event occurred which results in the electrons combining with the protons and neutrons to form atoms, mostly hydrogen and helium. Light can finally shine. The sixth event occurred at about 1 billion years ago at a temperature of 200 degrees centigrade where the gravity makes the hydrogen and helium gas coalesce to form giant clouds that will become galaxies. Smaller clumps of gas collapse to form the first stars. In 15 billion years, at 270 degrees centigrade, the seventh event occurs. As the galaxies cluster together under gravity, the first stars die and spew heavy elements into space. Those will eventually turn into new stars and planets. And now we are in the present day. Theory of Biogenesis According to the theory of biogenesis, Life arose from pre-existing life. The term biogenesis also refers to the biochemical process of production of living organisms. This term was coined by Henry Charlton Bastian. The theory of biogenesis states that only living organisms can produce other living organisms. Louis Pasteur designed an experiment to show that biogenesis was true even for microorganisms. He took a swan neck flask which remained sterile without any microorganisms. When Pasteur tilted the flask, the microorganisms entered from the atmosphere into the broth and slowly the microorganisms grew in the broth, turning it cloudy. This showed that microorganisms do not appear spontaneously. Theory of chemical evolution According to the theory of chemical evolution, primitive organisms in the primordial environment of the earth evolved spontaneously from inorganic substances and physical forces such as lightning, UV radiations, volcanic activity, etc. co -acervates. Alexander Oparin in 1924 suggested that the organic compounds could have undergone a series of reactions leading to more complex molecules. He proposed that the molecules formed colloidal aggregates or co in an aqueous environment. 
the co-acervates were able to absorb and assimilate organic compounds from the environment. John Scott Haldin in 1929 proposed the primordial sea served as a vast chemical laboratory powered by solar energy. The atmosphere was oxygen free and the combination of carbon dioxide, ammonia and UV radiations gave rise to organic compounds. The sea became a hot dilute soup containing large populations of organic monomers and polymers. They envisaged that groups of monomers and polymers acquired lipid membrane and further developed into the first living cell. Haldane coined the term prebiotic soup and this became the powerful symbol of the oparin Haldane view on the origin of life between 1924 to 1929. Oparin and Hardin independently suggested that if the primitive atmosphere was reducing and if there was appropriate supply of energy such as lightning or UV light, then a wide range of organic compounds can be synthesized. Here in this image you can see the prebiotic soup and the combination of the liposomes and the RNA resulting in the formation of probiont which has RNA only and the probiont slowly acquired the RNA and the proteins and later on the cellular life developed with the RNA, DNA and the proteins. Here you can see the formation of life forms in step 1 free atoms carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen were there. Abiotic synthesis of monomers from simple inorganic compounds like hydrogen, water, methane and ammonia. Amino acids purines, pyrimidines, monosaccharides, fatty acids and glycerols were synthesized. In step 2, monomers combined to form polymers like proteins, nucleic acids, fats, polysaccharides. In step 3, there was formation of coacervates and biomolecules surrounded by a lipid membrane. In step 4, the origin of nucleic acid and protein control metabolism inside a lipid membrane, the protocells or the protobionts. This is the Oparin and Haldane chemical evolution theory of life. Now, let us move on to the geological time scale. Eras of the Earth. The duration of the Earth's history has been divided into eras that include Paleozoic, Mesozoic and Cenozoic. Recent eras are further divided into periods which are split into epochs. The geological time scale with the duration of the eras and the periods with the dominant forms of life. Paleozoic era. It is characterized by abundance of fossils of marine invertebrates. Towards the later half, other vertebrates, marine and terrestrial animals, except birds and mammals, appeared. There are seven periods of Paleozoic era, from the oldest to the youngest. Cambrian, age of invertebrates. Ordovician, freshwater fishes. Ostracoderms, various types of mollusks. Silurian, origin of fishes. Devonian, age of fishes, many types of fishes such as lung fishes, low fin fishes and ray fin fishes appeared. Mississippian, earliest amphibians and echinoderms appeared. Pennsylvanian, earliest reptiles. Permian, mammal like reptiles. Here in this image you can see the Cambrian period where the lobites appeared. Ordovician period, the nautiloids appeared. The Silurian period, the sea scorpions appeared. Devonian period, the primitive fishes can be seen. Mississippian period, the brachiopods appeared. Pennsylvanian period, the giant insects appeared. And the Permian period, the primitive reptiles appeared. Now, Mesozoic era. Mesozoic era is the dominance of reptiles. Called the golden age of reptiles is divided into three periods. Namely, Triassic, origin of egg-laying mammals, were dominant on the earth. Fossil bird appeared. Archaeopteryx, Jurassic period. And Cretaceous, extinction of the toothed birds and dinosaurs and emergence of modern birds. Here you can see the Triassic period, the first dinosaurs appeared. Jurassic period, the quarry dinosaurs appeared. And Cretaceous period, the last dinosaurs appeared. Cenozoic era. Cenozoic era, age of mammals, is subdivided into two periods, tertiary and quaternary. Tertiary period is characterized by abundant mammalian fauna. Periods of Cenozoic era, tertiary period where the primitive horses appeared and the quaternary period which developed into the human life. Tertiary period is subdivided into 
five epochs, namely Paleocene, placental mammals, Eocene, monotremes except duck billed platypus and echidna hooved mammals and carnivores appear, Oligocene, higher placental mammals, Miocene, origin of first man like apes, Pliocene, origin of man from man like apes. Quaternary period of Cenozoic era witnessed decline of mammals and beginning of human life has two epochs Pleistocene and Holocene. Here in this image you can see the Cenozoic era divided into the tertiary and the quaternary period. The tertiary period is Paleocene about 65 million years to 55 million years ago, Eocene between 55 to 34 million years ago, Oligocene between 34 to 24 million years ago, Miocene between 24 to 5 million years ago, Pliocene between 5 years to 1.8 million years ago. Quaternary period is divided into Pleistocene between 1.8 million years ago to 0.01 million years ago and Holocene till the age from 0.01 till the present age. Age of fossils. The age of fossils can be determined using two methods, namely relative dating and absolute dating. Relative dating is used to determine a fossil by comparing it to similar rocks and fossils of known age. Absolute dating is used to determine the precise age of a fossil by using radiometric dating to measure the decay of isotopes. Carbon-14 dating, also known as radiocarbon dating, used to date organic substances. Scientists measure the radiocarbon in the fossil to determine its age, can only date specimens up to to about 60,000 years old. Here in this table you can see era, years in million, period, epoch, fauna, flora. Cenozoic era, 1 to 6 million years. It's a quaternary period. The epoch is recently it is Holocene which is the age of the mammals and the flora is angiosperms and monocotyledons. Pleistocene, age of the human beings. In the Cenozoic era, from 6 to 100 million years, it is a tertiary period. And the epochs, 6 to 15, it is Pliocene, where the human evolution occurred. And from 15 to 10, it is Miocene. 10 to 20, it is Oligocene. From 20 to 100, it is Eocene and Paleocene. In the Miocene, Oligocene, Eocene and Paleocene period, the fauna is mammals and birds and the flora in all the tertiary period is the age of the angiosperms and the dicotyledons. In the Mesozoic era which is Cretaceous from 100 to 125 million years and the flora is spinopsites, ginkgos, needles and dicotyledons. In the Jurassic period which is between 125 to 150 million years ago and the flora is the herbaceous lycopods, ferns, conifers and cycads between 150 to 180 years. In the Mesozoic era, the Triassic, the Jurassic and the Cretaceous period is called the golden age of reptiles. There was a rise of dinosaurs. Now Paleozoic era from 180 to 205 million years is the Permian period where the flora was mammal like reptiles. And the flora is arborescent lycopods. In the Carboniferous period between 205 to 255, the Pennsylvanian and the Mississippian epoch occurred. In the Pennsylvanian epoch, the earliest amphibians and abundant echinoderms were found. And the flora is seed ferns and bryophytes. In the Mississippian epoch, the fauna is earliest reptiles. Between 255 to 315, the Devonian period occurred. It was the age of fishes in the fauna and the progymnosperms occurred as the flora. Between 315 to 350 million years, it's a Silurian period where the fauna is earliest fishes and land invertebrates and the flora is zosterophyllum. Between 350 to 430 million years, Ordovician period occurred and the dominance of invertebrates was the fauna and the appearance of first land plants were the flora. Between 430 to 510, the Cambrian period, the fossil invertebrates occurred and the origin of algae were the flora. In the pre-Cambrian period, earlier to the Paleozoic era, about 510 to 3000 million years ago, 
it was classified into upper, middle and lower periods. In the upper period, the fauna were the multicellular organisms. In the middle period, the appearance of eukaryotes. In the lower period, there was no fauna found, but the planktons and the prokaryotes appeared. So today, in evolution part 1, we discussed about the origin of life and evolution of life forms and the geological time scale. So thank you, kindly subscribe, like, share and comment to channel Read Med Prep Academy. Kindly register for UG and PG NEET type MCQs in our website www.readmedprepacademy.com Our Facebook ID is Read Med Prep Academy. Our email is readmedprepacademy at gmail.com Our Instagram is Read Med Prep Academy. Kindly post your questions in the comment box. We will reply with appropriate answers. Join Read Med Prep Academy for preparation of UG and PG NEET exam. Thank you very much.